So if you haven't played June 2 before, it is a fantastic game. And you can see a little picture on the screen here of someone playing it. It's a bit like Command and Conquer. It's by the same people that do Command and Conquer, I think, Westwood Studios. And it's kind of seen as one of the first games of those kind of strategy games where you build a base and you move your units and stuff. It's a really good game. Uh, and it's good. I think it's good to go back to the old games and play them. Uh, I like June 2 because it's unbalanced. Uh, <laughs> you know, later on they refined the genre, made it more balanced. And it. I think these unbalanced early games have a bit of charm to them. Uh, the problem I find with June 2 is it misses things like the lasso tool, uh, which is the multiple selection, you know, where you can drag and select multiple units. Uh, and it makes it really hard to play without that because you're kind of used to being able to move five units at once. But on, on June 2, you've got to select a unit, select, move, press where you want to go, select another. When, when you move to the other side of the map, that becomes a real pain in the ass. It's really difficult. Uh, but this kind of it's not a remake but it's kind of like a remake it's kind of like June 2 but with some added um, you know added features lets you do multiple unit select so it's really worth playing uh, and it's easy to to play on Windows you just download it uh, but on the Mac it's a little bit harder uh, so I'm just going to show you how to install this on the Mac First, you just need to download the files, which is easy enough. Just go to click download, click download here, uh, and then extract them onto your desktop. So you know after you've downloaded it, just press the press the file, and the operating the Mac OS X, the operating system will automatically unpack it. I just put it on the desktop. Um, then you need to install. You're going to have to make the game yourself. Basically, you've downloaded the binaries. You need to compile it yourself. And to do this, we need something called CMake and Allegro 5. I think it's called Allegro. Uh, on the Mac, the best way to do this is with Homebrew, I think. Uh, it's a package management system, a bit like uh, you might know from Ubuntu if you use that. Um, so to install this, you open Terminal. So I'll click the little spotlight thing, type Terminal, press it. I've already got it open here, copy and paste this into terminal to install homebrew, this bit here I won't do it because I've already installed it uh, and then once you've installed it to get to install these things you type brew install cmake already installed the next bit uh, is a bit harder because to install Allegro you need, I think you need to add an extra repository um, and what you need to type is brew tap homebrew slash versions. I'll put these into the description so you kind of know what you're doing. It says it's already tapped, and then you just type brew install Allegro 5 already installed. But what you'll get is you'll get a bunch of um, messages that just say, Oh, I'm downloading this, I'm extracting this, I'm installing this. It'll take a bit longer, but you get the gist. Uh, and then on the desktop, ah, no, what you need to do before you go to the desktop is you need to make sure you've got the original June files. So they're called pack files. Um, I've downloaded them. I do own the original game, so I don't know how how legal it is. I own the original game, and I can't get the files onto my computer because they don't do floppy disk drives anymore. So I didn't feel too bad downloading them. Uh, they don't sell the game anymore, so you're not uh, cutting into anyone's profits. Uh, I don't. I mean, I own about three copies of this game because I own the Amiga version and the PC OS version and the Mega Drive version. So I didn't feel too bad downloading these files because uh, I'm, you know, I think I paid my dues kind of thing. And um, if you don't own the game, I'm not sure, you know, how legal it is to download them. They're easy to find if on Google. Um, personally, I I think there's an argument that old games that aren't supported anymore, you know, the kind of the artwork people have a right to to to, to play them. Really, I mean, imagine if Nintendo stopped selling Mario, they decided not to sell any more Mario games. I think there's kind of a there's an argument to be made that people should be allowed to download Mario Three or Mario because it's you know, or Mario 64 because it's kind of um, 
Anyway, that's another argument. <laughs> you, know, you just need to get the um, the the June files. If you search for Open June Data on Google, you can get these. Extract it, put it onto your desktop, um, and then you need to go back to terminal, go to your desktop, CD desktop, uh, go to your June Dynasty directory, CD June Dynasty, uh, and then type CMake space dot uh, this this will um, I've not installed fluid synth and I've not installed man so it skipped them I think I must have done this already normally you'll get a few more messages then just type make and then it'll make the game for you this doesn't take too long there isn't much to it <coughs> now in in your June dynasty directory you should have this is what's been created this um, and if you double click this it'll start the game but the first time you click it it'll say there's no data files so you need the data files and um, I think they've got to be version 1.07 uh, the EU version you need to get these and copy them you might not need the I'll copy them all but you might not need the executable um, into this directory here, the data directory in your June Dy Dynasty directory. And now, if you press it, June 2 starts. Um, it's a great game. You can press Alt and Enter to get full screen. Play a game. Uh, I don't know if this is normal but you can pick your own start level. I have completed it so maybe that's why it lets me pick the level. Uh, everyone picks Arconan but I like Atreides. Uh, Fremen can be pretty powerful later on. Uh, yeah blah de blah. Just want to show you the lasso tool. And now what you can do is select multiple units. Which you couldn't do in the original game. And also, I don't think you could just attack them like that. I think you had to go run over here and press attack. Also, to build units now, you've got these things. I mean, build uh, structures now. You've got them in the right hand side, and you've got this like little bar. It's much easier to use than um, than June 2 was. So, have fun.